Live from the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. Please put your hands together for Hillary Duff, everyone! Oh. Hillary Duff! Oh. <laughs> I think they like you. I know. <laughs> They were forced into the warm welcome. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, my God. Hello. I think it's officially a national holiday. All these people, like, took the day off to come <laughs> out here. Yeah. Is that okay. weird when you know people ditch their work to come see you or their <laughs> friends or family? Um, I mean, I think I'm happy to uh, be the source of them getting out of a day of work. So There we go. Yeah. She supports it. I like that. <laughs> Well, welcome to San Francisco. Thank you. Have you been here before? I have. I have. I actually, um, I love it here, and I've, I've usually come for work, and about three years ago, right before I had my son, I came with my mom and my sister just to shop and, like, spend some girl time together. Oh, girl time in the city. It was awesome. It was so much fun, and I did that, like, zip line thing. Uh, Justin Herman Plaza? Is that, was that here by the water? Like yes. the Embarcadero? Yeah, yes. they had a zip line open at Justin I Herman Plaza. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Did fun. you like it? Awesome. I loved it. I was pregnant. I didn't know I was pregnant. Oh, my God. I zip lined across the city. Not <laughs> <laughs> well, that's <Yeah>. fun. <laughs> How far you also have you? to climb like this huge tower, right? Yeah. Um, right. It was fun. Okay. How far we along were you pregnant We also ate our faces at the off. The food here is so good. Oh, yeah. What do you like to eat when it's you come to, to the bay? Like what? Are, what's your stuff? What's your must-go-to type type of food? I you know guess. what? I forget the restaurant that I was really obsessed with going to. I had the guy's cookbook, and so I wanted to go to his restaurant. They had. Was it Vietnamese food by chance? No, but I heard there's amazing. Slanted door is uh, is the spot. I that think would, would I went been. to the slanted. Is that yeah. Vietnamese? You don't want to no. do that and then go zip lining. It's not no. the best idea. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Marcus is like Mr. Chef, okay. and he was reading that you love cooking. I do, I'm and really I also went to this. like a really famous restaurant here that's fancy. It's like a long, like like a six In and or out? seven course meal. Yes, <laughs> that's, that's my version of fancy. <laughs> it's a guy's name. Gary Danko. Yes. Oh, of course he knows it. Yeah. Of course. Sorry. I have never <laughs> left a restaurant so full before. I was like waddling out the door. Those tasting menus will catch up with you. And the other oh thing that gosh. people don't understand is that it's a celebration when you go do a, a seven-course meal and you think to yourself, oh, I need to pre-funk. I need to, like, a drink before we get there and have cocktails and whatever. You've got to pace yourself. Yeah, yeah, you do. Don't the worry. Pairing, don't, right. Yeah, otherwise, <laughs> things end badly. Right. Anyway, more on that later. Separate podcast. <laughs> That's all right. Are you a wine person at all? I am. You like cocktails? Yes. Okay. I like it all. I'm yeah. going to see Magic Mike XXL tonight. Ooh, okay. And I may do a little pre-party. A little pre-drinking? A little pre-gaming? Maybe a little something, yeah. A little something. We call those dress and drinks oh. in Texas. Just a dress and drink. Is dress and drink? Is? I yeah. like it. Yeah, because you have one while you're getting dressed. Yeah. In Did Washington you know? State, they call it the pre-funk. A pre-funk. Okay. I like pre -funk it. Pre-funk for the game or for the concert or for the show. Right. Here, we don't really have anything. I think we call that Saturday afternoon in the park with the fifth family. I'm not sure. <laughs> or Wednesday. It's nice to be grown up, isn't it? <laughs> I enjoy being grown up. So your fifth, fifth album is now out, Breathe yes. In, Breathe Out. Yeah. How does it feel to have it done and out there? Because you've been through a lot within the last couple of years. So is it is it re a relief or is it scary? What does it feel like? Um, I think that I've been through a lot, but we all go through a lot. You mm -hmm. know, it's kind of like the the record was a really um, good thing for me. You know, I hadn't I hadn't made a record in, in seven years, so um, I think it was like a, a big journey to like find myself in the in, in my confidence and who I am as a person and as an artist um, in the studio and, and work with really cool people and kind of like see what come what bubbles to the surface. You mm -hmm. know, and a, at times it was heavier than others, and um, sometimes it was just like fun, lighthearted songs that made me want to dance or move. Um, and you know the other stuff was was more like kind of letting people into my personal life and how i'm feeling you know at this point mm -hmm. what's the song on the album that exemplifies that the most i know they probably all do on some level but what's the one that hits home the hardest so that where you feel like you poured your heart out the most Honestly, it's not. There's no like gut wrenching song on the mm -hmm. record. It's not. <laughs> that's not really my personality, and um, so I wouldn't say that there's anything that you're gonna like cry sure. if you sure. listen to. Um, Brave Heart was a song that I wrote that's pretty personal about my my relationship. But there's a lot of strength in it. You know, it's talking about just um, being bold enough or brave enough to to take a step forward into like the unknown mm -hmm. and uh but like tying a nice little bow around your past kind of you know sure. like having respect and appreciation for everything really and uh and so that was a personal one but kind of emotional to r sit there and write you know to like tap into the feeling of 
well, how did we do this? Like, how did we get here kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Um, but again, no tears involved, so. You did some work with uh, Tovlo in the studio, mm-hmm. right? Was she on, on the album, that influence on the album as well? Yeah, she actually wrote Sparks. Oh, okay. And, um, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, she was just here. She's amazing. Yeah. yeah, I really love her. She's been a songwriter for a long time and rocked, worked with like a lot of the pop girls. And, um, you know, now she's an artist of her own and she's so talented and just has that edge, you know. I totally love edgy. Loves being a nudist. Yeah. <laughs> she flashes. We've seen videos. We're like, can we watch this at work? Um, all right. And she's really not afraid to talk about anything. Yeah. Real quick shout out before we continue because we just got the email that the album just went number three on Billboard. Is that oh. right? Just I on iTunes? Oh, was it iTunes? Billboard? iTunes no, was number one, It was right? number one on number iTunes. Number one on iTunes, number three on Billboard. We just got that. Oh, is that. that right? Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Okay, I'm, <laughs> getting, I'm good. getting a nod it's from the back good, of the room. It's doing good, girl. It's doing, doing real good. good. <laughs> you know what? I was just like, I want to make top five. Like, I've, I've been out the game for a minute, and um, I think as a mom now, um, you know, I'm so happy to get to still be here and to still yeah. make a record and to have a career and to have a family. You know, it's it's super empowering and um, it's, you know, it's like muscle memory from my past and, and to still have a place where people care and are curious about what my sound is like and what I'm singing about or people that have grown up with me. You know, it's it's a really, it's an honor to still be Do here. Do you feel pressured ever by that? Because people love you, women love you and they look up to you. Is it ever like... Oh gosh, how can I handle all this? Because they just want to know what you're doing and do it like you, you know? I'm not sure they want to do everything like me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's been a few bumps in the road, but I, you know what? I, I feel um, women empower me all the time, and I look at their strength, and it can be, you know, my sister in law that has five kids that's just like rolling in it every day. Like, it's how that's do they hard. Do it? I don't know, but I'm inspired by that, or I'm inspired by friggin' Beyonce, you know, who's just dominating the world or Taylor right. Swift, you know, like um, there, women are so in- inspiring and to know that I could potentially be someone that, you know, is inspiring someone else or that they're looking up to, um, it's, it's, it's really flattering. And it's hard sometimes too, because I've got days. No, we all do. Well, yeah. you know, everybody <laughs> yeah. has one. I, I'm interested because, you know, you said stepping back in after being a mom and now that you, your son is three, yeah. is that right? So now that you've had a baby, a lot of artists will equate putting out an album to having a baby. Is that still hold true? <laughs> um, like they call it their baby. Yeah. Right? Now that you've had a baby, is it still? No, my mm-hmm. baby's my baby. Right. <laughs> Always. The album doesn't even compare to him, you know? Yeah. Like I love my album and um, I'm grateful for that process because I really, it changed me a lot. Yeah. You know, I found my, I found a piece of myself from my past and I don't know if anyone here is a mom, but you definitely get lost a little bit you know it takes a bit to to find yourself again or reestablish who you are sure um and so uh i'd say the process was awesome but no lucas lucas my my number one so my daughter is here right now she's in the audience she's about to be one year old and my wife is here and i can barely muscle into work some days because it just it takes over yeah having a child takes over so my question is between your music and the new TV show, congratulations on that, and also being a mom, mm. what are a couple of pieces of advice that you can give moms to, to, for work-life balance um, or, or being able to tackle everything? Anything that you do in particular? You know, I still struggle. Sometimes it's tough. Like, I'll be in the studio or I'll come off of a press day of, get, you know, these days sometimes promoting a record or an album, you're really giving yourself right. um, and, and connecting with people and, and it's a lot and and um and everything that goes along with that which is like the rehearsals and the fittings and the scheduling and the emails and the, it's like only things that you can handle and um and then getting home at like six and having an hour or two hours with your kid before you go to bed and you're like okay like and now i'm gonna do this and um i think just trying to prioritize and one thing that helps me is like setting my phone down and knowing when I walk in the door for at least 30 or 40 minutes, like I need to set my phone down and I need to be present and get outside or, you know, don't like hang in front of the TV, even though sometimes that seems easier. Um, And and not putting too much pressure on yourself to being perfect. Like you're not always going to have all the answers for your kids. And, um, you know, I think that was one thing when I became a mom was like, I just, everything matters. I have to be perfect. And you don't, you absolutely don't. I don't even have kids and I'm stressed out for moms. Like I don't even, (laughs) what do your single friends or people without kids not understand? 
Cause oh, scheduling, timing, any of that stuff. What do you wish? By you the just way, I can I can work all day long. Come home, cook my kid dinner, play bath time, put him to bed, get myself ready, be on time for dinner, and like my best girlfriend will be like thirty minutes late. I'm like, what did you have to do today? <laughs> By the way, you barely have a job. Like, how is this? Yeah, you know, and I have four dogs, so four dogs. Yeah, yeah. Good. I Lord. really like to pack the plate full. <laughs> As full as it can get, pile it really high. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah. Is it true that there's like two modes for most women? If you're a mom, there's regular Hillary and then there's mom mode. It's like two different ones. Yeah, and it depends. I'm pretty silly. Yeah. I think as you can tell back there when I got to meet your little nugget sure. that I'm pretty silly and I like to have fun and um, I'm a big kid really. Uh, but I can lay the law down or, you know, if we're on a time crunch and a schedule, I can be... By the way, you guys, Hillary is the baby whisperer because my baby wasn't talking to anybody. And then she's like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a damn good swaddler. My sister just had a baby. And she's like, get over here and swaddle this baby. But a lot that of baby was new terminology to me, too. I'm like, what the hell's a swaddle? Yeah. <laughs> it's a burrito thing you put the baby in, right? Is that it's like a straight jacket, really. Right. <laughs> it's a baby straight jacket. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to compliment your jeans, by the way. Oh, like, your thanks. outfit is so cute. We were just talking on air today about um, how skinny jeans apparently are bad for your health. There was a woman who was helping her friend move, and she did so much bending that she ruined So the much bending and squatting yeah. that she cut off her circulation and literally had to go rush to the hospital because her jeans were too tight. They had to cut her jeans off of her. Yeah. Don't you realize in the morning when you're getting them on that maybe that's not going to work throughout the day? Like... <laughs> Who would move in I skinny jeans? Not me. Isn't it fashion over function? Definitely though? a boyfriend right? jean at, at, on a moving day. Yeah, no, yoga pants. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even want a zipper. That's too much work. That's so <laughs> funny. Um, skinny jeans are bad for your health. That's amazing. I know. What? Because you're. This is very bohemian, and I, that's totally my style. Do oh. you have a certain style or certain? I don't know celebrities that you like that you're like. God, I love. I love the way they dress. I love the way they look. Um, we yeah, had. Oh my gosh, tons of them. Let me think. Uh, you know. Kate Hudson is always, mm. she's very like bohemian. This is not my, my normal everyday style. I do look a little piratey today, I guess. Um, but I am, you know, I don't have that much time to get ready. I think that when I'm working, I tend to be a little more glam um, for performances and stuff like right. that. But I'm usually like a skinny jean, booty, mm -hmm. top kind of gal, t-shirt. I love going to the flea market and try to find like vintage tees and like a little leather jacket. So. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Bar secret bargain shopper. I love it. <laughs> that's true. Except for sometimes I'll pay way too much for like a really good beat up stinky t-shirt that someone else is wearing. Even at the flea market? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. looking for that perfect cut, you know, that, that good size, like that good material. I'm a weirdo. If you're ever in here on the right weekend, Alameda, I think, has the best flea market. Am oh, I right? Okay. Is it Alameda? Okay, that, good But you got to get there early because people get there early. It's one of those flea <laughs> markets that they charge uh, less as the day goes on. Oh, right. To get in. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm up with the program of getting there at like 6 a.m. Oh, boy. Yeah. She's serious. Are you a you farmer's market girl? I love, love farmer's market. Love the market. farmer's market. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Do you live in Los Angeles then? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the best part of living in LA and the worst part of living in I actually, LA? Actually, well, I live in LA most of the year and then I shoot the show in New York. Okay. Um, so I live in Brooklyn from September to December. Okay. Which is awesome because we get the fall there. You guys get fall here, but mm. in LA, not so much. I don't so much. even know if we have seasons anymore, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's like mostly sunny and rain once <laughs> once or twice a year. Okay. That's what we have now. Okay. And we will complain about it. I don't know if LA is the same, but in the Bay Area, if we get any rain or anything not sunny, it's the worst day in the world. Right. <laughs> can't, even though we need it so bad. You guys like to talk about the weather. Oh, we're just obsessed with it. We have nothing <laughs> else to do. It's a big deal. It's one of those things where if it's too cold, we complain that it's not hot enough. And then when it gets hot, everybody complains yeah. that it's too hot. Yeah. That's <laughs> super inconvenient. If it's not like 65, once it gets about 65, 70, people get nervous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, End yeah. of the world is coming. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I want to go back to cooking for one second. Your, your, your kitchen must be totally tricked out. Do you have like a really... I have a really fancy stove. Uh -huh. um, it's really... Um, a pretty stove. I don't. It's called a Le Cornu or something, and it's got all these fancy knobs. And the problem with it is that on my uh, oven, they're just symbols. And so I'm like, what is that? Because it's international. Oh my god! It's like IKEA. It's oh, like, I've got to go to my cupboard, pull the pamphlet out, look for the symbol. Like it's oh, such wow. a nightmare. And one year on Thanksgiving, I was like, I'm gonna cook the turkey, and I cooked a test round turkey because I was like not used to the oven. Right. And I was like, I just moved in. I didn't want to mess, mess up Thanksgiving for everyone. I cooked the best turkey. 
the best turkey. Come Thanksgiving Day, we cut into it, it's fully raw. Oh, I was like, oh, what oh, went no. wrong here? What happened? But I'm, it looked great on Instagram. It right? looked Am amazing I right? <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> yes. Which I, everyone knows that's what matters. I do all the um, Thanksgiving at our house, and I literally, I get so excited. <laughs> it's Super Bowl at my house. So I start three days early. Okay. So it's gravy on day one, stuffing on day two, and by the time Thanksgiving actually comes around, uh, everything comes out of the oven. But I literally get so into it that I'll talk to the turkey. Oh, man, you're friends with it at this point? I literally will walk by and go, you're so pretty right now. <laughs> Who's a superstar? Do you Who's brine it like in the refrigerator 24, for days? You can't do it otherwise. You're flipping it, and it's like, I'm oh, totally man. that guy. Oh, I love totally it. Totally that guy. My so. sister has a cooking show. She's a, she's a right, chef. Right, right. And so... What's the name of the show? Remind me. It's, it's called Real, Gr Real Girls Kitchen. That's right. And the problem with it is, is she's always like, come over. I'm testing out three different kinds of this. And I'm like... Just so full every time I leave. It's impossible to be on a diet. In is my, it all in my good family. stuff, or is there things, some things where you're like, oh? It's been a few shady, shady do you items. You tell her, or do you just smile shady through it? Shady item. Um, no, I tell her. Okay. Tell her. She doesn't always like to, to hear the the criticism, but yeah. she understands it. You know. So you're a really We're good close. cook. What are you bad at? What do you just suck? Like, I'm a horrible cook. Okay. Horrible. I'm not. Trader Joe's is my okay. cook. That's what I do. <laughs> you're like taking it out of the package and like putting the trash in the bottom of the trash can. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. need this. Oh, look what I did. Look what I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's a skill at home that you wish you had? A skill at home? Um... Nothing. She's perfect. All right. Know. Interview I'm over. Looking for, no, no. I'm... Drops uh, mic. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm not too... Bad it. I mean, I'm not, not good at laundry, but I don't really care. Right. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Laundry sucks anyway. <laughs> Nobody likes laundry. Sports. Yeah. You want? You wish you could play anything? Uh, an instrument? You wish you could play? Oh, I don't play any instruments, and that would be great. I wish I could play piano and guitar. Um, I think if I worked hard enough at it, I could you know do a few strings here and there but right. i don't have time 24 hours in the day it's just not enough no it's i know you gotta sleep <laughs> do you sleep how much do you sleep per night i try to get seven hours a night okay that's good yeah that's good are you one of those people that needs sleep because yes like okay i mean i can function without it if i have to for right. work but i won't be my most pleasant sparkling <laughs> personality <laughs> <laughs> but there are those people who can get by like three hours a night, four hours a night. They can't wait to get out of bed. No, no, can't no. I, no, I know. And then they're so pumped on life. Yeah. You're like, how are you functioning right I now? I try to be that guy, and I'm a total jerk by yeah. like Wednesday. Me too. Oh, when and he coffee really, second. like I need to have coffee in the morning. Oh, yeah, this one too. Well, I do too, but he has two cappuccinos, and once he has the second one, I'm like, I don't know if I don't want to be around you right now because he's off the walls. Yeah. Off the walls. <laughs> You can't turn him down. You're like, no. uh, he needs it. I literally <laughs> get home addict. after the show and my wife goes, okay, you're not on the radio anymore. Just t take it down a notch. <laughs> Sport, take it down a notch. Oh, that's so take funny. Take it down a notch. <laughs> well, we're so excited that you're here yeah. today. And you. your fans are like the most dedicated, amazing fans in the world. They I'm, love you so much. I so am, this was like exciting for everyone. Oh, I really am excited to to connect with them again. And, you know, even on, on social media, it's it's so nice to, to see the support. Like I did, I went away for a long while. And um, I think, you know, we have a connection from our past and to know that they're still around and um, hang, hanging with me is cool. Well, I haven't seen you for a show or anything in at least seven years, and I've been so excited over the last couple of weeks because you're such a cool person to be around. So Aww. I was talking to her, like, she's so nice. She's so nice. So <laughs> thank you for, uh, for being awesome, and uh, congratulations on the success of the album, the early uh, stuff on Breathe In, Breathe Out, number one on iTunes, number three on Billboard. As of today, Hillary Duff, you guys. Thank you, Thanks guys. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> thank you. That was fun. Thank you. Hey, it's Hillary Duff. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out more exclusive interviews and live performances on 1013.com.